Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to look around once in a while, you could miss it. This video is for those who are addicted to output and productivity. If this video found you, it's probably for you. Stick around for a minute, listen, and reflect. It just might change your life. Carpe diem, baby. In all of my adult life, I have yet to see life get dramatically easier or simpler for anyone I know. Most I observe operate within a range. They have more hectic seasons, times of day, and times of year, but never a huge prolonged drop or a spike. Even when faced with a dramatic, unexpected event, like an accident, illness, death, or a struggling child, they simply compensate, cut what is not necessary, triage what needs more time and attention in exchange. Likewise, have you ever seen a woman with a near empty bag or purse? Surely not. Because whatever space she has to fill, she will fill. Just like your closet, your drawers, the hall closet, the basement, fridge or pantry, and especially your diary. If a hard deadline or limit is not imposed upon you, you will stretch it. We tend to like to be at or near capacity at all times, whether or not we admit it. It feels safe there. It's just the nature of our productive, busy conditioning in the society we live in. It's how we vibe and flow. Output is king, and we all want to live and contribute to the fullest. Do our best. Make it count. Prove we are worthy. Even if a slow life is calling your name, slowing down can be boring, lest we admit it. So what is available gets booked, white space gets filled, if it's open, it will be taken, what we have, we will spend, and then some. When that day comes that you somehow have more sleep and more energy, you will commit to more. When you have more bandwidth and wingspan, you go for bigger goals. When you have more money, you book more trips, upgrade the car, wardrobe, and house. Not all operate like this, but many do. And likewise, we never feel ready. Most of us are simultaneously dreaming of that day somewhere off in the future when everything magically and miraculously frees up, falls into place, when we can find the courage or the timing that feels just right, when we can book that one extra long adventure or trip, take an entire summer off, run that race, invest in that side hustle, write a book, change jobs or careers, take that leap of faith, do that girl's trip to Tuscany, go on a spa week, a women's retreat, climb a mountain, attend a writer's camp or a conference somewhere cozy, creative, and remote, live off the grid for a season, chop our own wood. Just kidding. But how about this one? Take two to three days off just to read. Ah, what bliss would be this. I can't wait for the day to chip away at this fantasy bucket list. To do all these fun life things. I can't wait for the day when I can breathe. When I feel under less pressure. Especially financially. When I have more time and can just relax and live a little. Maybe even go to some festivals. Well, guess what? That day is never coming. 
unless life forces you off track by way of some kind of tragedy or wake-up call, you will defer that miraculous opening in the sky where it suddenly starts raining time, energy, money, and lots and lots of calendar openings until maybe forever because you like to be busy. It feels better than bored or not contributing, not needed, not valuable, and not available. It just does. The minute life gets easier, we simply add more to make it more complicated. Leisure is a bit of a secret, dirty, lazy word. More than half of Americans don't use their full paid time off, vacation days, and only around 14% take two weeks off in a row. So, I implore you, what do you not want to go to the grave without doing or seeing or saying? What do you not want to reach 50, 60, 70, or 80 without having done at least once? What experiences is your soul still craving? What sensations is your heart still desiring? Get to planning and penciling, my dear. My dear busy body. Cut stuff out that doesn't matter so you can make room in your purse and pocketbook and calendar for what counts. Do it and plan it anyway. Force the ready and perfect timing. Trust that sometimes you have to do it to do it. <laughs> you just have to start and go. Because that miraculous day is never coming. You simply won't feel or allow for it. Even if it means coming out of retirement twice. Even if it means doing two extra degrees or certifications, but still not feeling prepared or expert enough. You're either busy living or busy dying. And you can't take it all to the grave. So feed your soul, darling. It will thank you. And sometimes when we are hoping for double, life returns us with half. Life can go both ways. If there is one thing about timing, it will never be perfect when measured according to a fantasy. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Uh -huh.